Hi everybody, this is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about combined view states. This is a tool that you can use in Creo Elements Pro 5.0 as well as the Creo Parametric products. With combined views, there's several different things you can do. You can use it while you're doing your designs in your assembly, and you can also use it downstream in the displays of your drawing. So let's take a look at it. You'll start out with your view manager, or you can set your display states based off of your ribbon uh, interface if you'd like also. Your choice on how you want to do that. But the key is this. Let's say that I have a particular simplified rep that I want to go to. I can establish that rep. In this case here, I just want to show the guts of this Porter Cable table saw. And then from that there, I have a style state that I would like to mimic. And this style state is there so that I can get to the interior of the part without uh, having the exterior of it getting in my way. So I have a nice little transparent style state established there. The next area that I want to look at is an explode state. So I want to explode the guts of this thing so that I can communicate and convey the message that I'm looking for while I'm in my drawing. And last but not least, there's a orientation that, that I would like to have while I'm in my drawing. So how does all of this work? I can come over to this tab in the view manager called all. Once I have this display set the way I would like to have it, I can just select new, give it a name, and then reference those originals. You really don't want to create copies because that will then create duplicates of all those different states. All right, so one other item that I want to show here is the ability to display these combined views. And when I close out the view manager, you'll see the effect of that. Okay, so if I pick on my default view here, you'll notice I get uh, instantly into my default view. And if I pick on that display state I just created, it takes me right to that display state with all of the different areas. I've got the simplified rep set. I have the hidden line removed state of the components towards the rear that you see. I have my explode state set, as well as the orientation set. Now let's talk about this display com combined views checkbox. When I close that checkbox, you'll notice that I have all kinds of tabs down below. One of those tabs happens to be the new name state. And then I've got one for view one, view two, view three, etc. So these different states have already been created as combined views. Perhaps I need to have my part oriented specifically so that I can get access to a lower area here. I can very quickly toggle between a default view and that lower part view without having to open up the, the view manager. A nice tool that can be used while you're doing your design work as well as downstream in your drawings. So keep this in mind the next time you're using Creo Parametric or Creo Elements Pro 5.0. Give it a try. If you have any questions, reach out to your friendly EAC account manager. Tell them you saw it on one of Doug Hippie's EAC Product Development Solutions Tips of the Week. And have a great week. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.